how to fix issue with couldn't connect the Galaxy Watch to your Samsung Galaxy S25 series. The first thing is to open up your wearable app. So on your phone, we're going to open up wearable app from the apps screen. So from the home screen here, swipe up to go into the app screen. Then in here, we're going to find wearable if you have a lot of apps and you can't locate it. Then you can use the search function here. Tap on the search and then type in where Webo, and here it is. So tap on that to open up the app. Next in here, you can see as soon as I open up the app, it said that I need to pair to my Galaxy uh, Watch. So if your Galaxy Watch is connected to another phone, you will need to disconnect it um, to make it available to connect to this Samsung Galaxy S25 series. Now if you have any important data on your watch, uh, make sure you back it up first before you disconnect from the other phone, otherwise you may lose all your data on your watch. Once you disconnect, your watch will reset and all the data will be deleted when you're connected to this uh, Galaxy S25. Now also make sure that your Galaxy watch uh, is compatible with the S25. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled on both devices. So on the Galaxy S25 here, we want to ensure connections and then Bluetooth is turned on. And on the watch, I'm going to go into settings. And in here, we go into connections. And then make sure Bluetooth is turned on. If Bluetooth is not on, make sure you tap on it to switch it on. Now, another thing that you might want to do is make sure the wearable app is up to date. So in here, we go into Play Store. And tap on search. Here, we type in wearable. wearable app Samsung and make sure uh, there's no update button. If there's an update button, then uh, make sure it is up to date. So you want to update wearable app uh, to the latest uh, software. If it is running on older version, you may have issues uh, connecting to your phone, um, to your watch. Another thing that you can do is try to restart both devices. So we start your Samsung phone and also we start your watch. So on the watch here, just we start it. And on the watch here, I press on both buttons. Tap on power. And then we're just gonna power it back on. On the phone here. We lock into the phone. And we start your wearable app. And on the watch here, I'm just gonna press on the power button to boot up again. Another thing that you could try is to reset Bluetooth and connection settings. So swipe down on your phone, then tap on settings. And here go into connections and then Bluetooth. And then down here, find your watch. So if you, let's say this is the watch in here. So you tap on it and you want to forget the device. So tap on um, forget or unpair and then try to uh, connect to your watch again. Or you can try to reset network settings. So we go into settings. So let's go into settings here. And then scroll down and tap on general management. After that, we tap on reset. And from here, we go into reset mobile network settings. Or just reset network settings. So here, just tap on that. And then tap on reset. And at the top here, you might also want to reset uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings or you might want to um, consider reset all settings on your device. So resetting the settings will not erase your data. You still have all your data uh, in your, on your phone. Uh, it just reset the settings on your device. So give that a try and see how you go. Another thing that you can try is to clear the Galaxy wearable app, cache and data. To do that, we go back into settings. Then scroll down and tap on apps. And from here, we use the search button and find wearable, Galaxy wearable. Then we scroll down and tap on storage. In here, try to clear data and clear cache and see how you go. After that, you may want to restart your phone and reopen your Galaxy wearable app again. So give that a try and see if you can fix issue with um, unable to connect your Galaxy watch via Bluetooth.
And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.